PDF documents can be used in a vast range of different applications. And, uh, well, I mainly use them for things like Photoshop or Illustrator, bringing them into and importing the designs. But uh, they can also be used in some of the maybe not so well-known applications, such as Logoist. Now, it's going to be found on the Mac, but uh, it's a really good application, and I use it for lots of different things, creating different designs that can be added into Photoshop, as well as just for general logos, background designs. But uh, the whole point of this, I'm just going to quickly show you, you can uh, bring in and use, and I'm just going to quickly show it, Objects menu, Add Image. And just comes up with a selection here, Desktop. And now these heart designs are a free PDF section uh, from graphicextras.com. You can find it on the website in the heart section. And I'm just going to quickly go into the folder. And you can see the various designs here. So you just go through there. And at this point, I'm just going to import one. So I'm just going to quickly select Open. And as soon as you do that, it just falls down. I like that nice touch. just bounces down. And then, of course, you can resize it. This is a vector design. It can be resized without any, just drag that around, rotate it. And also one good thing with Logos, it's got a vast selection of different effects you can apply. You've got some presets down here, so they're really quite nice ones. I'm just going to just quickly go through a few of them. So you just click on that. Do various reflections. Very quick and easy. Now, if only Photoshop was so easy, it should have a nice selection of presets like this. I know it's got styles. But uh, so actually, this one incorporates effects and tons of other things as well. And just a really nice, easy way. Much easier, I find, than, uh, than in Photoshop. But anyway. So right, once you've done that, you also notice that there's actually effects here. So you can actually see all of it. You can add additional effects, of course, via the effects menu here. So I'm just going to go and create a metal one. Just going to go metal, metal heart. Right. Then you can go to effect. And if you want to, you can add an additional glow, inner glow, gradient glow, different blurs. So a zoom blur. Just going to quickly add that. That will appear in this list for the PDF document. So I'm just going to go with that. Done. And the next thing that's really quite good, quite easy, just quickly duplicate that. And an additional one comes down. And of course, you can save the presets and all those sort of things. So it's a really good application, and it can also use vector PDF documents.